welcome back to my channel last time you saw me try on boohoo plus size clothing as as you can see from today's video disney themed i purchased my infinity pass at disneyland paris in december 2018 as i'm disabled and i had the relevant evidence that disney require i did receive a 10 percent discount off the price now if you check Disneyland Paris's website it does give you a list of the criteria to prove your eligibility for the discount and if you do have a blue badge they accept that straight away however if you are going to apply for a disabled infinity pass you have to do it at Disney at the office at County Hall just outside the turnstiles you can't do it before your trip online or over the phone or by post you have to attend in person I arrived at the office at Disney and it's a pretty simple process you fill in the application form as normal they take a copy of your disabled pass or evidence of disability and they provide you with your infinity pass and on the reverse it has your photo, your name, the valid from dates, a QR code and a reference number as well. Once my Infinity Pass was issued to me, I was then granted a green priority card. Now, you might have heard of these before. These are cards that detail what kind of help as a disabled person I need around the park with regard to accessibility for the rides, also um, for viewing areas for the parade route and the fireworks. Now, if I can bring this close to the camera, there we go. So you can see the options. So this card does cover a number of disabilities. Now, what this says is it's that there, I have four companions with me and a maximum of two companions can accompany me on the parade viewing area. And my needs for rides is that I am able to transfer on my own, but I may need assistance. And on the reverse, it tells you which cast member issued me the priority card, my name and the valid from and valued to date now this date expires not on the date my infinity pass expires but on the day my evidence of disability expires in my case my blue badge expiry date okay so how do we use these every time you go on a ride you will show both of these so i will show you a little trick you've probably seen a fair few number of these bad boys in your time now you can buy a pass holder at Disney to pop your infinity pass in however I went on to eBay and I bought this one as well this was an A5 holder with a lanyard so what it allows me to do is it allows me to wear around my neck my infinity pass and my green card everywhere i am within the park now every time i want to go on a ride i will look for the disabled sign for an accessible entrance if there isn't one i will ask a cast member and once i get through to the disabled accessible area of the ride a cast member will be waiting for me they will check my green card they will check that it's valid and the number of companions i'm allowed with it and they will check the name on the green card against my infinity pass to ensure that it is me using the card and no one else is trying to use it then i will be put through to the waiting area which is generally kind of a fast pass area where you'll be waited and assisted onto a ride now for instance some rides are the normal area such as the teacups however dumbo you go through the exit and you wait there as a seating area. The Tower of Terror, you go through the exit again up until you arrive at the lift entrances. So there's all different things, different routes for different attractions. However, it does mean that you do not have to wait in line uncomfortably with no place to rest and 
not being surrounded by lots of noise lots of people quite close to you making it even more uncomfortable or with regard to me i ride my mobility scooter pretty much up to a ride so these if you are disabled go to the county hall with your proof of disability and they will issue a green card as i am disabled and i purchased a disabled infinity pass a con of it is i had to actually purchase it at the park i couldn't do it beforehand online or by post like the other passes actually to be quite honest it's one of the reasons why i'm not renewing my annual pass this year because i'd have to physically go there to do it to receive a disabled annual pass obtaining a disabled annual pass did give me further discounts to the infinity pass gave me 10 percent so back in December of last year, I paid an upfront fee of 50 euros and then I've been paying £26 per month for my Infinity card. Just going online and reading the latest prices for the Disneyland Paris website, it's £449 a year or an upfront payment of €60 Euro and €36 Euros per month. So it's been quite a price hike as well, which is another reason why I am not going to be renewing this year. Now, with regard to the Infinity Pass holders, or any pass holders for that matter, if you are paying monthly, there are certain banks that do not allow Disney to set up direct debits with, to your account. Halifax is my bank, and they are one of those that do not allow Disney to take a direct debit there is a way around this each month disney will send me an email to say they've been unable to collect the fee i then reply to the email asking for a payment link which they send usually within 24 hours i then go through the payment link and put in my payment card details and it just takes a normal online payment and so your payments continue monthly without any problems the great thing about having the Infinity Pass is the discounts. Now, I'm not going to lie, our second trip to Disneyland Paris this year, having the Infinity Pass, we were privileged to have a discount at the Hotel Cheyenne. So we went for four days, three nights. We had two double rooms at the Hotel Cheyenne for the cost of £300. Now, that to me is a no-brainer between three of us 100 pounds a night you can't go wrong so if you are an infinity pass holder there are deals to be had with regard to staying on site you do need to have flexibility when you phone up because it depends on the availability for instance i did phone up and say i want to go to disney this day what price can you give me for a hotel and she was telling me 650 700 and upwards and then she asked me, how flexible are you on the dates? Could you go a day later? And I was like, OK, yeah, that's possible. Well, if you can go a day later, I can give you the Hotel Cheyenne for £300. What can I say? Being flexible does help with the Disney deals. Another great thing about the Infinity Pass is the discount on food and drink. You can get a 10% discount on food and drink at most places. However, beware, there are some exceptions. Some of the stalls around the parks and different places don't offer you a discount. What I did was every time I went into somewhere, I asked them. Another perk about the Infinity Pass is the discount on merchandise. Now, oh, 20% discount. You also receive 20% discount even on sale prices. I've got the Buzz Lightyear big cup, travel cup for reduced down to five euros and then i've got another 20 percent off it this these are crazy prices so they really makes a difference the con to that is you end up spending so much money because how much of a deal having the discount is it's fantastic can't recommend that enough another perk to having the infinity pass is you can buy day tickets for guests when you travel so I just looked up online at the website today at today's prices. If you were to purchase a two day multi park ticket for Disneyland Paris, it would cost you £148.64. pence. However, if you have the Infinity Pass, you can purchase day tickets, multi park day tickets 
for 39 euros so that's what 78 euros for two days multi-park tickets by buying them on the day that is a huge saving the only con to that is you have to purchase them on the day from the ticket office you can't go and say oh i'm here for two days so can i buy tomorrow's park ticket as well you have to queue up each day which obviously eats into your disney time however that saving is so huge when you have an infinity pass i just i thoroughly recommend it it's what we've done on both our trips being disabled you can get your carer into disneyland paris for free However, if you are going to do this, you still need to queue up at the ticket office and get a carer's ticket before you can access the park. So again, great saving. Disney World in Florida definitely don't do a carer goes in free ticket. So I just think it's fantastic Disneyland Paris do. You do need to get up and get to the queues early because there are only three ticket windows that do the carer's ticket. So you need to get there early. Otherwise, I know in December I queued at that window for nearly two hours to buy two day tickets and get the carer's ticket as well. So we could all get into the park. Just be aware of the times and make sure you get there nice and early. One of the negatives that I found about being a disabled person in the Disney park is I wasn't necessarily allowed to ride some of the rides alone or peter pan's flight because of the type of disability i have i wasn't allowed to ride it at all because if the road ride broke down there would be climbing involved to get off it so i wasn't allowed to ride it however i was allowed to ride the tower of terror which is strange another great thing about having a green card at disney a priority card is the food kiosks and restaurants if you look above where the signage is by the tills, generally the end one will have a disabled sign. You have priority there. Even if other non-green card bearing people are in that queue, a cast member will actually lead you to the front to be access the food quicker and help you in and out of the queue area. This happened to me in December. Uh, Scott had gone elsewhere and I was just with his nieces and we decided to go to Casey's Corn to get some hot dogs and some hot chocolate and the queue was out the door if you know Casey's Corner at all it bottlenecks into it and then expands out again and the queue was out the door there was a cast member there she saw me without another adult with me I just had the two children and she guided me straight to the front of that queue to order my food and then she helped me maneuver and get back out again safely so that is a huge thumbs up for Disneyland Paris another great thing about having the priority card at Disney is it allows you access to a priority viewing area for the fireworks in the evening now if you are looking straight on at the castle you need to bear round to the left and come in through the side and there will be a rope with a disabled badge on it you go up to the cast members there show your green card and they will allow you and the number of people on your card access to that viewing area which is to the front left of the castle brilliant view it for someone like me who's on my mobility scooter, if someone was standing directly in front of me, I'd have no chance seeing the fireworks. So having this priority viewing area, again, another thumbs up for Disney. Another thing about the Infinity Pass is you get the Disney Photo Pass included, the Photo Pass Plus. Now, this wasn't explained to me very well when I first got my Infinity Pass and I only actually picked this up on my second trip. So what you need to do is to go to one of the photo kiosks at the rides. So I would recommend the Buzz Lightyear ride photo pass area. So go to the exit of Buzz Lightyear and there's a photo pass queue there. Go see the cast member there and ask them to give you your photo pass plus. What they will then do is you'll give them your infinity pass and they will put your details and give you your photo pass. So every time you get off your ride, You'll scan your photo pass and it will go to a online photo pass service where you can download your ride pictures. Don't miss this. 
this is something that they tell you we gave you all the information when you joined however the only problem is it's all in french this was what i was given when i got my infinity pass it's all in french i don't speak french and i'm really sorry that i know that Disneyland Paris is in France however a lot of your customers speak English please Disneyland Paris start providing your literature in English it would be so helpful being a plus size girl at Disney is kind of a bit of a difficult subject to talk about really now I was accompanied by another plus size girl and we both had two very different experiences when we went to Disney. I am almost six foot tall and a size 22 and I didn't have an awful lot of trouble securing myself and getting onto any of the rides. Some of them were a bit tight, I'm not going to lie, but all the rides I got onto, and I mean all the big rides as well, Crush's Coaster, Tower of Terror, the Rock and Roller Coaster when it was still open, had no problems getting onto them and getting the seat belts done up or the overhead fasteners done up. Um, the only one that I would say I had any kind of issues with was Space Mountain, where when the um, seat fastener thing came up after the ride ended i went to get up and all my hair had got caught in it and as i moved forward it tore hair out of my head so that was kind of the only issue i had with regard to getting on and off rides at disney but for the person i was accompanied with she did have a few issues actually getting onto the rides cast members did help her though they are there to help because they don't want you to miss out on the rides so they were pushing down the harnesses and overhead things to get them done up or helping her secure the seat belts. Now, this is great service because, as I say, they don't want you to miss out. However, I know that it was uncomfortable for her. And the other thing about Disneyland Paris is they don't have the trial seats outside the rides when they are going to be quite heavily held into it like they do at Disney World where you can try before you buy if you like try before you ride if you fit into it comfortably if it's going to be okay they don't have that at Disneyland Paris so I would play it by ear most rides are actually pretty comfortable to ride anyway you do have a lot of rides where you don't actually need to be secured in any way bench seating Pirates of the Caribbean prime example bench seating no harness over you or anything like that it's a small world all those kind of good things as well and even the teacups you're not secured into but those rides that you are as i say size 22 nearly six foot tall i was okay but i would say i was probably at the limit if i was being honest with you being plus size at disney and disabled i must say i was impressed I was impressed by the assistance I received from the cast members. I was very impressed with the facilities there, especially with regards to being able to get to the front of the queue um, in the food places, getting help with that, getting help onto the rides, the accessibility of the rides. I've been to Disney World a number of times and I actually feel like the disabled access in Disneyland Paris is a lot better <gasps> can't believe i said that than disney world in florida but well done disneyland paris for the disabled access i i can't say enough good things about it actually don't let it hold you back having a disability go in there because they will help and support you as much as you can I feel like I've waffled on so much in this video because I had so much to say I had so many great experiences uh, if you enjoyed this and I really hope it has encouraged you to go to Disneyland and giving you a few more bits of information that perhaps you hadn't picked up on then please hit the like button hit the subscription button and see you soon for more videos because I'm sure there'll be more Disney content because I I'm slightly obsessed and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.